Hello, I'm Andy Drummond, and this is my latest book. Now, you might think, looking at the cover, this is a book about railways and trains. Well, it is and it isn't. The clue is in the title. Now, back in the 1890s and 1920s, the people of North West Scotland were interested in getting a railway built to somewhere near them. But the governments in London weren't in the least bit interested. And in fact, one functionary in the Scottish office described it as a quite impossible proposal. Now, I first came across this uh, sort of scheme to build a railway to Aliphal some time ago. I did a little bit of research and then I wrote a novel. And here it is. Oh, that's the wrong one. And here it is. An abridged history of the construction of the railway line from Garb to Aliphal. Now, a couple of years ago, I decided I'd better do a little bit more research into uh, what went on. And I discovered, to my horror, that there had not just been one scheme to build a railway to Aliphal, there have been five different schemes over the course of 16 years. And not only that, there was a whole basket full of other proposals for railways to the northwest coast and on Lewis and on the Isle of Skye. So I took myself down to the National Archives in Edinburgh and poked about in the files of the Scottish office from the 1890s. Now what I discovered there was a picture of government incompetence, I think I could best describe it as. They really weren't interested. They sent out commissions of inquiry of retired gentlemen who hadn't got a clue what was going on. And they were aided and abetted in this by the Highland Railway Company in Burness, who were adamant that no one was going to build a rival railway to the northwest coast. So this book is about social injustice, it's about economic revival, it's about the attempts of the people of northwest Scotland to try and reverse more than a century of economic decline. And yes, all right, it's about railways and it's about a quite impossible train as well. Now, before you go out and buy this book, I must tell you what I did during our very first lockdown. Now, I know everybody did something really interesting during the lockdown, but I did something that was more interesting than most. I built a railway. And a very good railway it is too. You can travel from Inverness to Ullapool, five trains a day, and two on the Sabbath. Or you could take a circular tour of the island of Lewis, either in a clockwise direction or in an anti-clockwise direction. And if you wanted, for example, to send some sheep and a sheep dog from Portree to Dunbegin, then you could load them onto my trains, <coughs> buy yourself a ticket, and for three sheep and a sheep dog, that would cost you seven shillings. Slightly more expensive was if you had the issue of sending a travelling circus from Fort Augustus to Inverness. But the procedure was simple. You would load your animals onto the train, you would buy that ticket, and the ticket, I can tell you now, would cost you one pound, eight shillings and fourpence. You can visit that website yourself. Um, I did note that during lockdown you would be hard pushed to get onto a train. So now you can buy your tickets, sit back in your armchair and travel to the most beautiful place on earth. Just visit my website, handydrummond.net, and look for The Impossible Journey.